Hello there. Today, we will be taking a brief look at all the hotels and retreats at the Disneyland Paris Resort. If this is your first time visiting Disney Parks Attic, we make videos about all the Disney parks around the world. If you enjoy this video or find it useful in any way, then consider subscribing to keep up to date with all our future content. Let's get right into the video. First, we will start with the Hotel New York, which like most of the other hotels in this video, opened with the park in April 1992. It was designed by the architect Michael Graves, who also designed the Swan and Dolphin Hotels at Walt Disney World. The interior has an Art Deco style, and the exterior looks like a skyscraper-filled skyline, so you will feel you are right in the heart of New York. The hotel closed at the beginning of 2019 for renovation and will now be known as the Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. The lobby, restaurants and all rooms will include artwork of all the different Marvel characters. There will also be a chance to meet your favourite Marvel character at the designated meet and greet area within the hotel. Manhattan Restaurant serves authentic Italian cuisine and will have subtle marble decorations like the Asgard chandelier. The downtown restaurant is a buffet offering American, Italian and Chinese food cooked fresh at individual stations. It has kept the Art Deco style, but popular Marvel comics have been added to the walls to give it a modern look. Hotel New York also has two bars. The Skyline Bar serves cocktails and will use screen technology to make it feel like you are really in New York. Keep an eye out as you may see some special guests across the New York skyline. The Bleecker Street Lounge is a cool loft bar serving craft beers, organic wines and coffee with a beautiful view of Lake Disney. Recreation facilities have also been updated throughout the hotel with the new Metro Pool Complex offering an indoor and outdoor pool, a kids pool and a hot tub. They have a 24 hour fitness center and an outdoor fitness park for those with excess energy to burn. For the kids, as well as the superhero station where they can meet their favorite Marvel superhero, they are also adding a Marvel design studio where they can learn how to be a Marvel comic book artist. The hotel also has a small shop called New York Boutique where you can find many Marvel and Disney souvenirs and collectibles. With all these updates and just a 10 minute walk to the parks, this makes it a great resort to stay at while in Disneyland Paris. The hotel is planned to reopen this summer, but due to the circumstances, it may be delayed until later in the year. Next up is the Newport Bay Club which was designed by Robert A. M. Stern Architects, who previously designed the Yacht Club and Beach Club resorts in Walt Disney World, so you can understand the similarities throughout. It has a New England mansion style with its white clapboard exterior, porches, woodwork, and nautical memorabilia, and it even has its own lighthouse. It is the largest resort on property with over a thousand rooms and was completely renovated in 2016. All rooms keep the nautical style with artwork featuring Mickey from Steamboat Willie. Cape Cod is their upmarket buffet serving a selection of Mediterranean and international cuisines specializing in seafood. The Yacht Club is their fine dining restaurant inspired by New England dishes with a Mediterranean twist, all set in a cozy environment. Captain Quarters is a nautical themed bar serving aperitifs overlooking the bay and Lake Disney. The hotel also features an indoor and outdoor pool as well as a gym, sauna and steam bath. It also has a small shop called Bay Boutique where you can find some souvenirs and holiday essentials. It takes 15 minutes to walk to the parks or you can take a free 8 minute shuttle. Get ready for a western adventure as this next hotel takes you into a wild west frontier town. Hotel Cheyenne was designed by the same company that created the Newport Bay Club and features facades that make the hotel look like a real wild west town. 
All the rooms offer decor inspired by Sheriff Woody from the Toy Story films, so families with young children will love this resort. There is an indoor play area, and for an extra cost, there is even a chance to ride a pony and become a real cowboy. Hotel Cheyenne has one restaurant and one bar. Chuck Wagon Cafe offers a continental breakfast buffet in the mornings and an American-style barbecue buffet in the evenings. With a well-themed indoor and outdoor seating area, this is a meal not to be missed. The Red Garter Saloon is where adults can find a selection of cocktails and beers to the backdrop of classic country tunes. This hotel also has a Starbucks for those that need a little extra help in the mornings. The general store is where you can find souvenirs and other things. And keep a lookout for your favorite Disney characters as they may make an appearance at any time. Just across the Rio Grande from the Hotel Cheyenne is the Hotel Santa Fe, inspired by New Mexico landscapes and the sites of Route 66. If you have children that like the Pixar franchise cars, then they will love the decoration in the rooms, and the whole feel of the resort will transport you to the American Southwest. Similar to Hotel Cheyenne, they have an indoor play area, a small shop called The Trading Post, offering souvenirs, and a Starbucks for the coffee lovers. Their buffet-style restaurant is called La Cantina, and offers Tex-Mex and other international cuisines during dinner hours and continental breakfasts in the morning. The Rio Grande Bar offers cocktails and beers in a southwestern setting with authentic decorations. The Hotel Cheyenne and the Hotel Santa Fe are both a 20-minute walk through Disney Village to get to the parks, or a free shuttle can take you there in eight minutes. Did you know that Disneyland Paris also has two nature resorts about a 15 minute drive from the parks? Davy Crockett Ranch opened with the rest of the resorts in April 1992. It is a wilderness and adventure resort set in the middle of a forest. Guests can stay in one of their many self-catering cabins that sleeps up to six and includes two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchenette and an outdoor area with barbecue. There is a plethora of outdoor activities, including tennis, mini golf, play areas, and the unique Davy Crockett's Adventure, a treetop experience that is great fun for guests of all ages. There is also a huge indoor swimming complex with slides and a waterfall, and the Lucky Raccoon, an exciting games arcade with lots of family-friendly entertainment. If you are looking for souvenirs, then head over to the Alamo Trading Post to pick up some Disney merchandise. Or if you are looking for something to cook, there is a well-stocked supermarket too. If you don't fancy cooking, there is Crockett's Tavern, an all-you-can-eat buffet specializing in fish and salads. If you want to play pool and try some cocktails or beer, then head over to Crockett's Saloon to help unwind before another day at the parks. Each cabin has a private parking space and the resort is dog friendly. So this is a great resort for families on a budget. Right next to the Davy Crockett Ranch is the new Les Villages Nature Paris. Opening in September 2017, this huge eco-friendly resort is a complete change of scene to help you reconnect with the things that truly matter, all while minimizing impact on the environment. This is the first ever collaboration between Disney and Center Parks, who specialize in luxury holiday villages in a woodland setting. There are two different styles of apartments, the oasis of well-being in a sleek modern setting and the rural retreat inspired by the English countryside. All apartments feature a kitchen and a balcony and can sleep up to six. At this resort, there are five unique immersive worlds the Aqua Lagoon, a huge outdoor water play area with giant slides, a wave pool, jacuzzis and more. All connected in the open air lagoon and is naturally heated to 30 degrees Celsius all year round. Here is where you can find the Aqua Lagoon Cafe offering refreshments, snacks and treats. 
The Extraordinary Gardens is a group of four gardens inspired by the four elements. It is a great place to relax and explore all the hidden secrets. In the Bellevue Farm, you can find a vegetable garden, pony club, indoor play area, and you can partake in activities such as animal care, cooking and gardening. So everyone will be able to find something to enjoy. Forest of Legends is an outdoor play area designed around the legends of the forest and is comprised of rope bridges, tree houses and secret pathways. The kids will love this area. The last immersive world is the Lakeside Promenade. At the heart of the village, the promenade offers shops, restaurants, a market, a bowling alley and a lot of animations. Overall, this great resort will make you want to come back year after year and is a great addition to the Disneyland Paris Resort. Back to the main Disneyland Paris Resort, Sequoia Lodge evokes the atmosphere of the great American National Park lodges that can be found at Yellowstone and other western parks. Thousands of trees were brought over from America and Canada to give it a unique look and feeling. Inside the hotel, it immediately gives you that warm and cozy environment with the big fireplaces and rustic furniture surrounding the welcome areas. This continues into the rooms with the wooden furnishings and the subtle artwork of Bambi and other woodland creatures. The Hunter's Grill and Beaver Creek Tavern are two restaurants that combine to create a special buffet dinner specializing in grilled meat with all the trimmings. The Redwood Bar and Lounge is a great place to grab a cocktail or a beer to help unwind after a long day at the parks. The hotel also has a gym and an amazing pool complex that can be enjoyed indoors or out. For smaller children, there is an indoor play area where they can live endless adventures. The souvenir shop is called Northwest Passage and can be found just around the corner from check-in. It is just a short 15 minute walk to the parks or you can take a free shuttle that takes you right to the gates. The final and most famous resort at Disneyland Paris is the Disneyland Hotel, which opened with the park in April 1992. This luxury five-star resort has an American Victorian theme. Situated above the turnstiles and ticket booths of the Disneyland Park, it is as close to the park as you can get. Due to the proximity of this hotel, it was designed by the Walt Disney Imagineering team that also designed the Main Street USA as to fit in with the surroundings of the area. All 496 rooms are luxuriously decorated and most offer amazing views of the Disneyland Park. They also have larger suites for bigger groups. The hotel features two restaurants and a bar. Inventions Decor is inspired by the creations of famous inventors like Jules Verne and Leonardo da Vinci. It offers international buffets for all three meals with lunch and dinner being character dining so you can dine along with meeting Mickey and Pals. California Grill is a Californian inspired fine dining restaurant overlooking the Main Street Station. It offers an amazing selection of food and wines for you to enjoy. Cafe Fantasia is a piano bar serving amazing cocktails and wines. The setting is based on, you guessed it, Fantasia. So expect to find all the weird and wonderful artwork inspired from the film. This resort also offers an indoor heated pool, sauna, games room, and for an extra cost, specialized spa treatments. Overall, the Disneyland Hotel is the most luxurious hotel in the whole of the Disneyland Paris Resort and fully deserves to be known as their flagship hotel. Of course, it is expensive, but when compared to the flagship hotels at the other Disney resorts around the world, it's pretty reasonable. So, that's all eight of the hotels at Disneyland Paris. If you want to compare prices, here is a list of a two-night, three-day stay for two adults and two children. That includes a three-day pass into both the parks and half-board. 
If you have stayed at any of these resorts, let me know what you liked or disliked about your stay in a comment down below. I will be making a tier list video for all these resorts next week, so if that's something you'll be interested in, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,